never so proud as when Dan asked me to be his best man for two reasons. Number one, because Dan and I have been friends for a long time. We go back to the day when uh, Dan was quoting uh, lines from Top Gun. <laughs> back when the days when we were chasing girls and we crashed and burned. <laughs> The second reason was because that means I got 10 months of uh, freedom from Lynn. <laughs> Blackmail, let me tell you that. <laughs> because I get to speak at her wedding. And she was deathly afraid of that. <laughs> that was a good thing. Anytime she started giving me trouble, I said, just remember, I get to speak. <laughs> then again, she was nice. <laughs> She's still fearful right now. I know. <laughs> I saw the microphone. <laughs> I'm going to have it for a while. Um, Dan and I have been through a lot together. I really couldn't ask for a better buddy. I think he's actually thrown up at more of my birthdays than I have. That's an impressive thing. I brought him up from uh, Tom Cruise and Top Gun all the way to George Strait and Pure Country. Let's do it! And then he got Lynn. Now he does his, uh, his uh, rendition of uh, Grease Lightning, like Tron <laughs> Travolta in Greece. All right. Yeah. But it's, it's their night, so I really want to toast them. You guys have a great house, a great loving relationship, three great kids, Dixie, Buddy, and Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't ask for a, a better couple to be together. Um, here's to Dan and Lynn. Let their life together be long and joyful. Have lots of kids together. And one of them better be named after me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the best man, Keith Martin, with an outstanding toast. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Hey, Rachel, right now the cake is about to begin. Those of you that would like a picture of that cake, give it her ticket.